Now that I have implemented a part of the API across all three layers, it's time to write an integration test. For the integration test, I want to send a GET request to the API, and it should go through all three layers and come back with a response. And this response will be asserted according to the expectations of the API. There are a couple of approaches to this. One is to start a server and send the request using the test REST template provided by Spring. The other one is not to start the server at all, so Spring will handle the HTTP request and pass it on to the controller. The code will be executed exactly the same way as if it was processing a real HTTP request, but without the cost of having to start a server. So this is the approach that I'm going to use in my integration tests. For this, I need the support of the mock MVC. So using the mock MVC class, I can perform get post and delete operations. This perform method will return a result in the form of a result action on which I can perform further operations such as undo and return and, exp and expect. Now let's write some integration tests. I like to keep my integration tests separate from the unit tests, so I'll create a new source folder for that. New source folder. SRC integration test and Java. So now I'm going to create a new JUnit test, um, same as with the unit tests. What makes this an integration test is a few additional things like annotations and how we write the test. So a new other JUnit test. So same as with the unit test, a uh, new JUnit4 test and the source folder, then the package. I would have this in the com.comment package and um, I'll name this integration test comment API test. So quick finish. So before starting, I want you to notice that um, in any of the implementations that I've done so far, I haven't add anything specific to Spring Boot. It is just plain Java code. We don't have any annotations or anything. So that so at this point, I want to start adding in the annotations as and when I see they're needed. To make this a Spring Boot application. The reason I like to build up the application this way rather than setting everything up at the beginning is because now I only add what I need. If you do it up front, you might be left with bits and pieces which are totally useless to the application at the end. I'm going to add a couple of annotations to this class now. First is the run with annotation. This annotation makes JUnit use the Spring Runner class to run the unit tests in place of the standard JUnit test runner. So we get the Spring's testing support for this test. Next is the Spring Boot test annotation. This annotation tells Spring Runner to start the test as a Spring Boot application, scanning for Spring components and configurations like REST controller and configuration annotated classes and using the application YAML file to initialize the environment. So as mentioned earlier, I want to send a GET request to my API which has this URL and um, for the very first test, I want to test whether it returns status 200 which is an OK from the API. So in order to send a get request, I'm going to need the mock MVC. So for that, I'm going to inject it to my test class and I'm going to name it just MVC. So 
I have the mock MVC and uh, for this to work I need to add another annotation here which is auto configure mock MVC quite self-explanatory it configures uh, this mock MVC without us having to do anything else so this annotation lets us use the mock MVC in our test class so let's see what this can do So the method that I'm going to use is perform mvc.perform and um, I have to provide a request builder. So, so as a request builder, I'm going to use the mock mvc request builder, which I'm going to import uh, over here. So for the request, there is mock MVC request builders. Uh, that's what we want. And I'll import that. So that will give me this method get and I need to pass in the URI, which is post slash one slash comment. So this is the post ID that I'm sending and uh, so this is the uri and now there are some methods that which we can perform on the results that we get from this perform method so if you look at the perform method it returns a result action so this allows applying actions such as expectations on the result of an executed request so these are the methods um that are available to us and do and expect and return so i'm going to choose this one and expect so what i'm going to expect here is the status status should be okay so there's a status method which we can use in um, mock mvc request matcher class so i'm going to import that so that is in the org spring framework test web servlet result mock mvc result matches so now we can use this method to check whether the status is okay so there are a whole lot of um, statuses in here which we can compare the results with so this method throws an exception that throws declaration that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to rename this method comment api get comments by post id status okay so now we have all of this we can run this test but we don't have a Spring application yet. All we have is a bunch of Java classes. In order to make this a Spring application, we have to write some more application code. But let me run this test anyway. Let's see what comes up. So it tries to start the application but there's an initialization error. It's unable to start the application as a Spring Boot application. So basically we need to make this a Spring Boot application by creating an application class and annotating it with um, at Spring Boot application annotation. So let's do the groundwork first and then come back to this test. 